Hello everyone, this is the third episode of the Maintenance uh, Database Management on Access. Uh, in this video, we're just going to go through how to schedule a monthly maintenance. So, the first episode, we explained how to schedule a bi-weekly, and the second episode was weekly, and the third, the third episode now will be monthly. So, we are here in the dashboard. dashboard. Uh, we just have to click the preventive maintenance. So, as I've explained before, you guys know what all these options are. Um, and there's a correction that I'd like to make um, for the bi-weekly. The status reminder is for two days. So, before the PM is due, two days before the PM is due, you receive a reminder here. But the email reminder is 30 days, regardless of what maintenance it is, what period of maintenance it is. The weekly is two days. The monthly is seven days. Quarterly is 14 days. Uh, Bi-yearly, which is six months, 30 days, and yearly is 45 days. So let's go ahead and schedule a monthly maintenance. This is uh, similar to the last uh, video, so you just have to put in the equipment, which other properties, the serial number, and the production area. We'll pick the P uh, PM description. If you have a name for the technician or the maintenance guy, put in here. The service company, if you and then put a note. Here is how where you attach some links, links like how to perform that operation. You just right click and go to edit hyperlink. And here is where you just look for a file to attach. So I have a PDF file. You can attach videos as well. You can attach a PDF file. And here here you have part numbers. So if you have a part part num parts that you use in performing this maintenance, you could just put the part here, and the, the price of the part just populates. And here you can change the quantity. And once you change the quantity, it changes the price as well. So. This is how long it takes to perform the maintenance. You can add it there, whatever you want. And the rate is by default 30, but you can change it to whatever you want. So right here we have the last update user. So this information is gotten from your computer. So the database pulls the information from your computer. So you don't have to put it there. If you try to put any number there or any, or any letter, it won't let you. So uh, the last update date, this is where you actually manipulate the, the data, which means that this is where you schedule the reminder. So today's date is the 27th, 27th um, because we want the reminder to get, obviously you want to see a notification, so let's go, let's assume that the PM was the 23rd. So let's, well, yeah, it's 23rd because we have seven days for the reminder. No. So no, let's go with, let's go with 20, no. Let's go with twenty. Let's go with twenty nine. Oh, I'm on. I'm on the wrong day. A uh, month. Ooh, let's go with twenty nine. So if we go to twenty nine, today's date is the twenty seventh. So twenty ninth is when the PM is due. 
so which means we have seven days for the reminder to be notif to give us a to give us a reminder here to show a reminder. So we have seven days, and this this twenty nine so, and today is twenty seven. So two days. So we should get a reminder. We should get an email reminder, and we also get a status uh, dashboard reminder. So we are done. We don't have to click complete because we haven't completed this PM and we don't want to schedule another one yet till we complete the PM. So once you uh, you once you get out of this save and close this information auto populates. On the way to do it is just go to the navigation uh, records here. And if you click here, you, and then you go back, you see it, it populates the uh, the user, and we get this information from your computer. So let's go ahead and close this to refresh. Let's close this to refresh. That way we can see that the monthly has uh, the dashboard have us a. Uh, a, a, a um, an update here a reminder so let's close the form then go back and now you see the same that uh, you have one monthly PM due soon so we could go in and then if we're done we can if we're complete we, we could just click complete and after that we could click uh, when we click Schedule an SPM, it auto populates the information here. As you can see, this is the email reminder, just the email notification just came up. So if you click to the next PM, it auto populates the next option, which is this one. As you can see, it auto populates this section. So this is basically uh, if you want to schedule another PM. So you can go ahead and and schedule another one for the 29th of this month, and you can see it auto populates right here. And then when you save, and you can save and close, save and close. When you go back, you no longer have this because you already click complete. So there's no reason for it to. Be showing you the stat, uh, the a reminder. But if you go in, you can see 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 it here. The one that you've completed, but the one that you've scheduled, you won't be able to see it. And the reason why is because for when you click this box, it only shows you items that are due within seven days for monthly. So for for weekly, it shows you item that is due within three days. And for bi-weekly, it shows you item that is due within two days. So that's what this is for. So, and this will not drop off till uh, we get to the 29th. So save and close, but if you want to look um, look at the records, uh, the schedule that you just made, you could go to uh, show all records. So if you show all records, it shows you every record that you've created. And as you can see, this is what we scheduled right now. We haven't completed it. So if you want the full records of all your PMs for monthly, this is where it's located. And you can also use this to schedule <clears throat> to schedule PMs, but it has so much information here that I just like. I prefer just going with this. So it's all up to you. Well, uh, this is all I got for this uh, tutorial. So thank you very much.